Good morning, good morning, good morning. So it is day 104 and uh, the time is 7.04. Think about, how about that? It's day 104, the time is 7.04. Uh, I got up really early and um, uh, well, it's a Saturday here. And so, um, you know, I gave myself three days of rest and my, my, my body feels good. Did my stretches this morning and I was trying to decide if I was just going to walk like I do because um, on Saturdays, it's supposed to like be my cardio day for walking. Um, but if the track is open, I think I'm gonna go run and do intervals. If the track is open, I think I'm gonna go run and do intervals. Miha, what's up? Okay, he's one of the sweetest. So there's like two guards uh, for my building. And both of them, when they see me early in the morning going out to work out, it's the sweetest thing. They always wave and smile. They make me feel like, you know, extra special and stuff. <laughs> but uh, so <clears throat> we're going out. We're gonna walk to see if the track is open. If it is, then um, I, I might feel like doing my intervals. I've never done intervals on a Saturday. So if it is open and uh, I feel like it, I, I'll do my intervals. If not, if I don't really feel like it, then I may just either walk around the track or uh, maybe I'll, I may go walk to the walk to the beach because um, uh, I live and work near the beach. So, yeah. And uh, for those of you who <laughs> you don't maybe you don't really know me, I, um, I am I am a lecturer at Dongbei University of Finance and Economics, and um, here in Dalian, China. Absolutely beautiful city. I love it um, and oh, whew, this is my this is this is my warm-up time so usually usually I'm not talking when I'm doing it uh, I do have my Apple watch and I'm also using my um, my uh, map my fitness app and I got my audiobook playing and ready and it's the uh, I just started a new book. It's, it's by Oprah Winfrey, What I Know For Sure. So I'm really, really excited about listening to it while I, while I get this cardio in. So, see you guys back in a moment. So here is the university track and as you can see, it is open so that means that I'm gonna be doing some interval runs and here's one of my favorite people uh, to run with these two they were so cute this couple I feel like these are goals like running together or working out together goals okay so I am at the cool down portion of my interval run um, so now that the 100 day challenge is over, uh, I'm not doing uh, 14 intervals anymore. I'm only doing, oh snap, she said I'm done. Uh, so my watch, you know how technology talks to you. So um, I'm no longer doing, whew, I'm no longer doing 14 intervals. I'm only doing 10 because uh, I'm doing, you know, one minute fast, one minute slow on 10 intervals. So, uh, and then I have a two minute warm up, walking warm up or, or whatever I want, two minute warm up and one minute 30 second cool down. So, uh, this is my first time doing this on a Saturday. Usually my run days are Tuesday and Thursday, but that was during the challenge. So I'm going to see how I feel about mixing the days up, doing it a little bit different. Um, and of course, I'm still doing my strength training, <sighs> but I'm traveling. So I start getting here and I take a shower and I get dressed for the day. 
I'm gonna go ahead and start packing because it's, it's the summer holiday. So I will be going back to the States to visit my family and my loved ones. Um, y'all got to, y'all got to bear with me because this is this tie. But I will say this, I'm, one of my, um, the reason why I took that, the three day break is because Zal, Zal Shafu, the reason why I took that, he's so cute. The reason why I took that three day break is because my, um, my colleague, she told me that I was really, really fit because she went running with me. If you, if you, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the video that, uh, that she did of me running. And, uh, she told me, she told me, she said, you're really fit. She said, I mean, I can sprint, but you can go for longer distances. And, uh, that takes a lot of strength and a lot of stamina. And so she was telling me, she said, you would be surprised at how strong you would be if you took like a week break and came back. Then you could really tell at like the progress you've had. Now, me, I think that is playing with dangerous territory to take a whole week off. Because next thing you know, it's gonna be two weeks, then a month, and then, child, I'm back to 391 pounds. And I can't do that, okay? I'm not 391, I'm, I'm 254. And I, I still have, still got about 56, 56, 58 pounds to go. Uh, pounds of fat, okay? I'm trying to do some fat loss. But anyway, so, I did a three day, three day break. And uh, this morning I was out running. And I could tell such a difference, even just from a three day break. Like, I was like, okay, girl. <laughs> I didn't stop once. I mean, and the intervals, now I don't know if it's because, like, psychologically, I know that my intervals were only gonna be like 10, 10 intervals instead of 14, because I had started off. I started out with uh, with 10 and then I moved it up. I started out with 10 intervals and then I moved it up like each month um, an interval. And so that's how I ended up getting to, good Lord, I need water. That's how I ended up getting to um, 14. But so I took it back down to 10 and I feel good with 10, all right? Y'all, I wear this hat because this sun out here ain't playing with nobody, okay? This son is not playing with nobody. Um, so, that's, that's what I did. I don't know if I just changed my, that's what I did. And I feel good according to my watch and uh, map my fitness. I did 1.7 miles. My average pace was 15 minutes and 14 seconds. Um, but I mean, and that's in 26 minutes. I mean, I walked like a lot of those. So <laughs> I walked like a lot of those. So, but, uh, so eventually during this project 35, um, what I want to do is I do want to, um, give me a moment. Okay. So eventually with this project 35, I do want to end up, um, doing like sprint for a minute and then jog for a minute. But uh, most most of the research that I have done on running, because I like I told you before, I used to be terrified of running. Uh, and as a matter of fact, for like the first, I would legit say for like the first 50 to 60 days of this challenge, I had like this fear. Every single time I went out running, I would be like, um, I would be like praying, you know, God, don't let me fall. God, don't let me fall. Don't let me fall and hurt myself. Like it's, it's, it was legit serious. Um. So, and then after a while, like, I, so I, I journaled about it for like a day or two. I wasn't consistent with journaling. I journaled about it for like a day or two. And then after that, uh, after that, I, um, I don't know, like I noticed that I started focusing on other things and I don't even think about it like that anymore. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, so, uh, today was good. We're done. I'm about to stretch. Um, do my wall stretches and then I'm gonna take a shower and like I said, I'm gonna ready to start packing because we going home. We coming to America. So uh, I'm really excited about that. But thanks so much for popping in and joining and I'll see you guys on the next time. All right, bye.